this video, I'm going to talk about how I set up the Raspberry Pi 3 for stock data analysis. Before we set up the Raspberry Pi for stock analysis, we need to make sure that we are using the Raspbian Stretch. And we've updated and upgraded to the latest version. Now, we've logged in the Raspberry Pi. First of all, we have to install the virtual LAN package. Open up the terminal and sudo pip3 install virtual LAN. That means the virtual environment that we'll be creating is the system's whatever Python 3 version. In our case, it's Python 3.5.3. The download and installation take quite a while, so just be patient. The virtual length is now installed. Then we need to create our environment folder in the home folder. We call our virtual environment test n and hit enter to create a folder. Usually, our virtual environment is stored here. We can look it up from the file manager, but we have to wait until the installation finish. Done. Let me look up our test env environment from the file manager. Here is the user pi. Our virtual environment is stored here. Let's get into the test env folder. We might be tempted to pip install new packages. But when we go back to the main folder, source activate the test env environment and pip3 list all the packages, we don't see our already installed numpy package. What we need to do is pip3 install numpy inside the environment. All right. Let's pip3 list to see if numpy gets installed. Here we go. Let me see if we can use numpy in testing. We see that our environment is running Python 3.5.3. We import numpy as np, and it gives this error. So we need to get back to the main folder and install libdev to the system. Simply exit the coding interface and deactivate the environment. Let's pretend that we restart the terminal. sudo apt-get install libdev. Oops, seems like we got the wrong package. Let me see what we need. It should be lib atlas dash base dev. When prompted, hit Y to proceed. Let me sudo clear to get back to the main folder and source activate our virtual environment. Test in. Get into the environment's coding interface and see if we can use the NumPy package now. We don't see any error message, that means we are good to go. Exit the coding interface and deactivate the environment. Sudo clear to get back to the main folder and move on to the next package. Activate our environment and install the pandas package. 
standards perform most of the data analysis tasks, so make sure you get it installed properly. Here are run pip pre list to see if pandas installed. Great. Let me get into the environment's coding interface and test the pandas package. Good. We don't have any errors here. Exit the environment's coding interface and deactivate the environment. Sudo clear to get back to the main folder. We then move on to install the pandas data reader 0.5.0. Again, activate our environment and prepare install pandas data reader. I got an error here because it should be double equal sign. Seems like it's okay. Exit the environment and get back to the main folder. Let's get back to the environment again. Import pandas as BD. But when we import pandas data reader, we'll get an error. So we have to add the core dot common dot is list like to the pandas API types. We have no error. So we can import pandas data reader as web. We'll also import daytime as we'll use today's date as the last record. Here we are creating a variable called stock to store the stock symbol. We can look up our target stock symbol by searching Yahoo Finance. Now let's get Apple stock data. Simply change the stock variable to AAPL. Just pick a start date and assign the end date to be today's date. Create a table called DF data frame to store Apple's historical price data. So it's going to be web dot data reader stock which is AAPL and the search method is Yahoo start date and end date hit enter sometimes it may not load up simply redo the DF web data reader and load again this time no error Let's df.head to print out the first five rows. Great. Here we see all the columns. Let's take a look at the last five rows. Nice. Okay. Let's exit the coding interface and try out the default Python idle. Make sure we're still inside the environment. I think we better quit everything and grab our Python idle. Here we go. Import pandas as PD. We remember we have to add the is list like to the PD ABI so that we can import pandas data reader. Oops, there should be a dot between common and is list like. Then import pandas data reader. Assign our stock variable to be apple. Pick whatever date to be the start date. 
Remember to import daytime before we assign today's date to be the end date. Finally, create a data frame to store the stock data. We can print out the first and last five rows to see if the stock data is loaded properly. Now we are ready to move on for stock analysis. Thanks for watching.